Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Small Saga. Last time we left off, we got started on our adventure, and today I have to press continue from here because it just goes right into a cutscene because of where I saved last time, so. Lego, it's summer! Summer. Summer's alright. Not, not my favorite season. In fact, it's my least favorite season, but... Winter's my favorite, followed by fall and spring. Spring and fall are honestly pretty, pretty close, but I like cold weather, so. Ah, a little mail slot. What's happening at the mail slot? Jeez, I was like, what is happening? Is this like Morse code? Level up. Verm learned rage. There we go. And would you look at what Verm has on his back? We got the god weapon, the switchblade. Um, okay, skills. Let's see, let's make sure we level up. Now Verm's older, wiser, stronger. Class, Berserker. Verm channels his anger into fast and brutal slashes. Okay, so we still uh, don't really have much of an option going forward here. We'll soon be able to choose. Um, too angry to die. While in the Berserk state, Verm heals two at the start of each turn. The A Berserker being our main character is is fun. I, I do quite like that. And let's see what we got. The Titan Reaper for slaying monsters of all sizes. Fit for ne'er duels. And I saw my peanut. Okay. Cool. And, uh, the trinket? Yeah, my, tr my, my treasure is yours for the taking. It's still there. Alright. Let's, uh, go ahead and get in here. See what we got. Kitty. You should not have come here, mouse. Passing through the cram bale. Let me be and I'll make no trouble. Oh, you found trouble, friend. I'm the predator and you are the prey. You run and I chase. That is the way of nature. Alright. Who said anything about running? Yeah! What's this? Mouse wielding a god weapon. Now I've seen it all. Very well, show me your strength. Amuse me. Look at me! Look at me wield it! And we were talking about, like, would a mouse ever be able to wield a god weapon like that? But look at me go. Ah, oh, so cool. Go Berserk, doubling up attacks for two turns. Y yes Oh my god, we have Berserk. You're no predator, you're nothing but an overfed fuzzball. Bold words for a morning snack. Alright, we're raged. Boom, boom, four dam- eight- or eight damage. Yeah. That's for two turns. Impressive, but it takes more than that to hurt a tiger. Ooh. Um, hi. It's a gnome! I like your little outfit. Whoa, is that a mouse? Mouse knight. Fighting tiger? Oh, I got bopped. I mean, I was trying to be cool, but... Sword's as heavy as anything. It's <laughs> much too heavy to be called a sword. How does mouse not even swing it? Ow. Oh, grand, you're not dead. Steady on your feet now. Are you hurt? Don't touch that. I'm fine. Oh, he's the real deal. Pardon. Saw you going paw to claw against Tiger, uh, blow for blow. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was amazing. Wait, uh, well, until he sent you flying, that is. I had to drag you here before he gobbled you up. It was a close call. You dragged me here? Still trying to decide on a voice for Vern, but... Where is he here, exactly? Alright, hold on. Um... 
Hi. Cranbale. Their burrows are deep, their convictions deeper. This is Cranbale, Sanctuary of Knowledge. Liz, welcome, welcome. I'm Shoban, daughter of Lady Gilda. She's the head of the village. Oh, you should come meet her. Mammy doesn't normally like visitors, but you're something special. Fine, fine. I have a question for her anyway. Lead the way. I feel like I feel like at this point, Verm is maybe maybe leaning into a little bit of the edge, so I can give you a little bit of an edgy voice. What with you being a berserker and you trying to take on a cat and be like a super badass, so. Oh, Tiger's a right piece of work. Can't be doing anything when he's on the prowl. Yeah. Alia's odds and ends. Welcome, welcome. Ah, an outsider. Welcome to Tulia's. Take a gander at what's in stock. What'll it be? Weapons? A sword capable of killing titans and gods. See, double edged, solid steel, is it? Sure, and I'll settle for iron. Bella. Look around yourself. Shop sells the bits and bobs for the humble people at Cranbale. Cooking wear, mining equipment, linens and such. This isn't the Royal Armory, ye jit! Oh, do you have anything I can use? And do you, you're a pair of high quality mole man boots. Good for hiking and, uh, or mining, and only five seeds. It's a fair price now, isn't it? What do you say? Five seeds for these boots? Deal. Sounds good. I'll take them. Grant! You received a pair of mole boots. Don't stay out of mischief. Phil just seen enough adventure. Okay. Give me my boots. My booties. Uh, tin toed. Yep, so I can only wear a cloak or shoes, not both. Well, we got tin toed boots. And look, even in even in Verm's sprite, he looks angry now, so I feel I feel this is apt. I shall the mischief. You said you sold armor too. I asked for weapons, but Ooh. Rolls of linen and fabric. Are these molar god made? Hefty cauldron. You have no need for this. Pickaxes. You have no need for them. Sturdy mushroom leather boots. They do look comfy. Or they do not look comfy. Rather. They look they look quite shitty, actually. Normally I would not be down for attacking a kitty, but that kitty was coming at me, so. He found two seats behind the rock. Oh, we need to examine everything. It's one of those Vigi games. Oh, you look like a sturdy lad. You're a warrior, are you not? That's a, that's, that was a terrible voice. I am. I knew it. You have those warrior eyes. I was a fighter in my youth, too. I have you know. Member of Maruda's Thimble Guard and all. Sure you were. Ha! Huh. Oh, give me a lip, lad. Maybe past my prime, but I've had more fights than you've had dinners. Got my years of battle-tested wisdom to offer. Do tell. Come on, then. What's the key? Weaknesses. Everyone has a weakness. If you use the right type of attack, you can exploit it. Right type of attack? Ah, you really are young. Let's see, how can I put this? There are four kinds. You've got your slashing attacks, that's swords and such. Then there's your bashing attacks, hammers and blunt instruments. Spears and pikes give you piercing attacks. And the fourth kind is... Is, uh... Special attacks, like fire or water or whatever. You're making this up as you go, aren't you? Oh, shut your bake. This system is famous. Everyone has a weakness. Find an exploit in this system. It's famous. What about cats? What's the weakness of a felidae? Eh, talking about tiger? Wish I knew. Seen mole warriors slash, bash, and stab that kitty, but his fur is just too damn thick. So we don't actually harm the kitty. No, if someone wanted to take that monster down, they'd have to do something truly special. Like have a god weapon? It's a mouse sword. Blade's dull, but the fluor... Fluor a sink. I, it's... That's... That's not... I'm pronouncing that wrong. Yeah. Points on the... Points on the pummel shines bright. See a book titled Miss Molly's Book of Many Maladies. Read it. Bleeding. When cut, a rodent bleeds. Small cuts will heal on their own, but large cuts may cause severe blood loss over time. Cure. Treat heavy bleeding with bandages as soon as possible. Stunned. A rodent who has been afflicted by the toxic venom of some foul creature may find themselves unable to move at all. Cure. Stunning tends to cure itself over time once the venom has left the body. 
Uh, Berserk, a rodent who is enraged will lash out with doubled fervor. Cure, a berserked individual will eventually calm down. Sessions with the therapist may alleviate future outbursts. Huh. Interesting, because Berserk seemed just positive there. Usually the thing with Berserk in games, as far as the status effect is concerned, is it's like, it, it it's good, but it can also be bad, because you lose control of the character, so you don't get to choose how they attack. But they do extra damage. But in this game, that doesn't happen. You just get to hit twice. Tipsiness. A rodent who drinks alcohol may become tipsy. I mean, that's often why we do it, but a tipsy rodent will become most unreliable. If needs must, drink an espresso. Okay, and so those are those are all four? Those are the four statuses? Cool. Smells like worm and nettle stew. Hearty mole cuisine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm out. Cool. So yeah, Shaban is over there. I'm guessing that's how I say your name. I like her. She's cute. Can't play. Mom says it's not safe out. Yeah, there's rats wielding badass pocket knives out there. Or not rats, mice. Found a roll of bandages. Hey, well we should probably equip that just in case I run into some bleeding. Yep, soft and absorbent, heals eight, stops bleeding. Cool. Sounds happy to take our seat for taxes, but where's the support when we need it, eh? Yeah, that's how it goes, isn't it, friend? It's ten, a statue of a mole dressed in humble robes. The plaque reads, A rodent's life is short. A written story is eternal. Loremaster Tobin, founder of Cranebell Library. Or Cranebell. Yeah. Look at, look at, look at... <laughs> look at, look at the old saves I had for Vern. His smile and optimism. Gone. What was it? Was it your, 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 your friend? It wasn't like your older brother, right? I think it was just like your friend or something? And someone you knew? Uh, you, you lost your friend, you got your tail cut off by yourself. You had to do it with your own hand. See a book titled The Rights of Masters by Lord Master Sylvia. As personal bodyguards to lords, ladies, kings, and qu kings, queens, blade masters are required to be loyal, chivalrous, and of course, exceptional in combat. In contrast, a lore master serves their liege by offering wisdom gained from two whole seasons of study at a licensed university. Two seasons, because they have shorter lifespans. Larger cities often employ a variety of other masters to serve as advisors. Plague masters oversee the health of a colony. Seed masters manage the city's treasury. Build masters specialize in urban building. Of course, all this fine counsel is irrelevant if a liege refuses to listen, as is often the case. Yep. Dear Ruth, hope all is well at the Nook. I wanted to pay a visit for the young king's coronation, but alas, Cranebale needs this librarian. Librarians are very important. Appreciate your work. Need help with something? The Yellow God. Do you happen to have any books on the Yellow God? I can't say I've heard of such a thing. But in any case, we don't specialize in God studies here. The collection is mostly historical and religious texts. Books on the old way, documents on the legacy of the Shrew Empire, that sort of thing. It's funny, because it was like, we don't we don't have God... We don't have God texts, but... You then said religion. My brain, like, kind of... Went like, what? For a second, and then I realized that, yeah, gods are what they refer to the humans as, so... Yeah, it would make sense that God isn't technically a religious term to them. That's no good to me. I love history, though. That's great. Mm-hmm. Library? Heard many great things about Cranbell's library. It's actually why I came here. Mm-hmm. We do take pride in our literacy here. Which came at a bad time. The library is a... but a shadow of what it once was. First, our best scholars migrated to Merida for better opportunities. Then that accursed Fila Day arrived and gobbled up half the village. All I can do now is manage the knowledge that remains. That's a shame. Mm-hmm. See a book titled The Old Way. To follow the path of the old way, thou must abide by three laws. Thou shalt not harm a god. Thou shalt avoid the god's gaze. Thou shalt not toy with the god's tools. Obey these laws, and Rodan and god may live peacefully side by side as they have done for thousands of years. Have they? Disobey these laws and the gods will punish us with fire and suffering. Yeah, it makes sense that they would come to that conclusion. The Pact of Five. Following the massacre on the Eastern Mire, Emperor Marcus wrote the Pact of Five. This legal document granted Rodentian citizenship to five key species. Rats, moles, mice, shrews, and squirrels. Carnivores were explicitly excluded. 
Even now, long after the fall of the Shrew Empire and the rise of the Rat Monarchy, the pact is held as sacrosanct, uh, forming the basis of modern Rodentian law. So yeah, Rodent the people, the specifically the people in the Rodentian Empire, are or, 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 yeah, Empire, um, rats, moles, mice, shrews, and squirrels. So no voles. No voles, unless that's just included in moles. I don't actually specifically know the difference. I'm very unknowledgeable about that, so. See book titled Wholesome Mouse Recipes by Jan Olive. Sweet seed biscuit. Serves four or just one really hungry mouse. Ingredients. One acorn cup of flour. One paw a mashed banana. One ground seed. A sprinkle of cinnamon. Mix the ingredients, spread over a greased baking coin, cook over <laughs> a coin, cook over candle flame for three minutes or until firm, eat warm or cool. God, I love this sorts of stuff. Just getting into a world like this and then they actually like build up the world around you and show you what it's like to live in this world. It's always so boring when some types of media put you in like a really interesting world like this, but they don't explain how like mundane things work, you know? That's interesting. Like, learning how they cook? They cook on a coin? That's super cool! And I want to know that stuff. I want to know the nitty-gritty. I want to know the mundane details, because it's so different from ours that it's interesting. See a Gultrim book titled, The Fables of Hussein. The young viper found herself stranded on the bank of a great river. After slithering for a while, she encountered a raven. I would be most grateful, said the viper, if you would fly me across the water. The raven squinted at the fanged worm before him. You're not gonna bite me, are you? I wouldn't dream of such a thing, the viper replied. Her forked tongue flicked back and forth. Against his better judgment, the raven agreed. This is like the frog and the scorpion, isn't it? Isn't it that fable? He picked up the viper in his talons, spread his wings, and flew skyward. Soon enough, the two landed on the other side of the river, safe and unharmed. The viper bowed in thanks. Hold up, said the raven. Why didn't you bite me? You had every opportunity. Isn't biting in your nature? The viper smiled. In all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. Yeah. So it's a, like a spin on that fable. The books in this case are old and tattered. You try and read one, but the pages crumble. Oh, God. Been written in illuminated mole script. They are beautiful, but you can't understand the writing. Oh, illuminated books and writings are so cool. All right. Well, I think we're going over here. I only have two seeds in my wallet, so. This was the old uh, mole's house. All right, Silbon. Hi. This is the council room. Ready to go in? Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, that is a... You're large. So, Bun, shouldn't you be studying? Who is this outsider? Oh, yes. Introductions. That's Lord Master Morvan on the left. Blade Master Nemain, the Hedge Knight on the right. You're cool. And Mammy, I mean Lady Gilda of Crenbale in the middle. Mammy, this is... Oh, I didn't get your name. Verm. Wait, Sir Verm. Sir. I'm not a knight. Really? Huh. Anyway, Mammy, I saw this guy fighting Tiger. He was swinging around a god weapon like nobody's business. That stupid cat had no idea what he was dealing with. I think this guy might actually be able to... Calm yourself, young lady. So, sorry, Mammy. Mouse, you fought the feel day with a god weapon? What can I say? Rodent weapons are always so brittle. Such arrogance. Fight a god's pet with a god's weapon? This is sacrilege, sacrilege of the worst kind. In accordance with the laws of the old way, a punishment is in order, my lady. Want me to put him in the stockade? Try a pine cone, see what happens. Everyone quiet! This mouse is a visitor, he's not bound by our local customs. We won't punish you, mouse, but we won't help you either. Do whatever it is you came to do and then take your leave. Fine, I'm planning on sticking around anyway. Before I go, I need some information. I'm looking for the one known as the Yellow God. The Yellow God? I'm afraid we don't have any gods on a first name basis around here, except for Cormac, I suppose. Have you heard of this Yellow God, Lord Master Morvan? I'm afraid not, my lady. Perhaps this mouse should head to Merida. One million mice and rats live there. Nobles, merchants, academics. I'm sure one of them can be of assistance. Is going to be my next destination anyway? Very well, take your leave, mouse. Ah, Sir Verm, wait up! Shoban, may I have a word? Mingling with blaspheming vagabonds is most unbecoming of a young lady. Stop calling me young lady, you know I hate it. 
Young lady, you are nobility. Know your place and return to your studies. Studies? Mammy, that Philidae is killing us off one by one and you aren't doing anything to stop it. Not another word. What would your father have said if he saw you mingling with a vagabond? Well, Dao's not here, is he? Shoban! That rock-headed child. She thinks herself a warrior, her father's daughter, all right. Hold your tongue, Blade Master. Yes, my lady. Sorry, my lady. Let me guess. Your mom told you off for hanging around with strangers. Wait, are you crying? Oh, you are! No. I'm not good with this kind of thing. Mammy's so damn stuck up. Ever since Da died, she's been obsessed with following the old way to the letter. No god tools, no god interference at all. What good's that doing us? Let's cowering in a burrow help anyone when Tiger's on the prowl. I get it. Most servants would rather hide away than face real issues head on. You seem like a smart kid. I'm sure I'll make it through this. Wait. Before you go, can I show you something? It'll only take a minute. One minute? Yeah, just something in the library. Alright, lead the way. Bum 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 bum. Lego! Library. I've been in here. You're behaving yourself, Shoban. I am, Auntie Energin, of course. Mm hmm, shouldn't you be studying? I should, but I was just going to show this visitor the illuminated manuscripts in the back. Mm hmm, stay out of trouble, young lady. Your mother worries about you. I know. Illuminated manuscripts? Those things I examined earlier that were super cool? Just follow me. And away I go! I'm interested in some old books. Never mind the books, I've got something better. She can't tell anyone about this, alright? Especially not Mammy. Sure, whatever. Hey, I'm serious, promise me. Alright, alright, I promise. Tunnel? I get myself, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> it's a game, dude! Treasure trove, huh? Is that a Nokia phone? That's a Nokia phone. Yep, god tools. Been secret collect secretly collecting and studying for a whole season now. See this? It's a god timekeeper. I can't read the runes yet, but I'm getting there. This machine's a fancy god's toy, I think. I watched a young one play with it for hours. It turns on, but the screen's all banjaxed. So I reckon it's missing a part. This is all fascinating. Truly. If you brought me down just to show me your trinket collection. Wait, wait, you'll really like the next one. A lighter. You know what this is? Seen them around. Another common god tool. Even better, a god weapon like yours. I've got it working. Even spruced it up to pack a proper punch. But in need of a field test. I thought I could use it on Tiger. Give him what for. Maybe save the village? But I don't think I can. Not because I'm scared. I mean, I am scared, of course, but... I get it. You do? You want to take that feel of day down. But you know attacking Tiger yourself would be suicide. The other moles in this village just sit on their tails and rant about the old way. Do you want me to lend my sword? R right Pretty much. Could you? Sorry to disappoint. I don't do sellsword work. Sellsword work? I couldn't pay you if I wanted to. The village is flat out broke. I was hoping you would do it, you know, because you're a chivalrous knight. Like I said, I'm not a knight. I can come here to do charity work. So go rally the thimble guard or something. I'm out. Ugh. I'm not running away. Oh wow, our our our, ma our main character random headache spikes. God have him. So, Sir Verm, are you okay? His damn headaches. RMCs really need some headache pills. Really pitiful, you know that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll help you. Really? Yeah. We'll go kill that Philidae. You can reap the glory, restore your village honor, or whatever. Just make sure you follow my orders. Yes, Sir Verm, to the letter. I'll go wait by the lift. Thank you so much, Sir Verm. Hey, Shoban has joined the party! Well, at least if all goes wrong, she'll make for a good distraction. 
All right, cool. And what do you got? So you have less HP, more of the like MP stuff. Lower attack, lower defense. So yeah, all that checks out. Height of mole fashion, noble hinnin. Oh, you're gonna take my near duel cape. So that looks good to me. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm excited to see uh, see where this is going. Normally I would be like, you know, like, oh no, don't make me fight the kitty, but kitty's kind of aggressive towards us. These poor mice don't deserve that. Also, it's a video game, so. Everyone said this thing is missing a part. Mice looks complicated, but none of these buttons do anything. Legos, don't step on them. Runes are strange. You cannot read godly writing. Okay, nothing else to do here. Let's get out. Wee. Alrighty, so... Are we actually just gonna go fight, like, right now? Save your game. Uh, let's save right there. Thank you, thank you. Bum bum. Oh yeah, I don't have any, like... No, there, there's no, like, level ups to do with you. You're a lower level than me right now. Turn to the surface. Let's go. I should probably be ending this episode off soon, though. But we'll go a little bit longer. There's a few things for us to do. What's, can I do anything here? Can I go into the grass? Doesn't seem like it. I feel like I can interact with this, though. It's very glowy. Wait. What is this thing? It's creepy looking, even by statue standards. It's Cormac, the village's uh, watchful protector. Oh, not doing a very good job, is he? No, guess he's not. Mac the Watchful stares blankly. Save your game? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so it's any statue. I can save at any statue. Hmm. Do I continue? This is probably a boss fight, right? I mean, I'm kind of interested in doing it. The warrior mouse returns with a mole this time. Don't tell me the little kitty is scared of being outnumbered. Scared? All I see before me are an entree and a main course. Go ahead, mouse and mole. Use your god weapons. They won't save you. Alright, kitty. Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve. I'm done holding my nerve. I'm going to unleash fire and fury. Jeez. I, my, I was stumbling over there for some reason. Alright, well, I'm definitely raging up. Light him up, Sobon. I'm on it. Uh, deal heavy special damage. Deal bashing damage. Okay, so we have access to two damage types. That's cool. Yeah. Worm fire? Let's see if you're weak to fire. Yeah, you sure are. Tiger claw? Alright, hit him with the swipe. Bang, bang. Okay, more worm fire. Seems like a good call. 12. Owie. You are focusing them, so I'm gonna need you to stop doing that. No items on hand, you're just gonna defend. Pounce? Ooh, bleeding. Firm's rage subsided, that's fine, because I wanna use this bandage on you. Because it'll heal you, and it'll get rid of that bleed. So... Worm fire. Kablamzo! Yeah, we beat the kitty! We did it. Worm learned cleave. We did it. We actually did it. We didn't land a killing blow. Doesn't matter. That kitten won't be bothering the village anytime soon. Yeah, that's the important part. I don't want to kill the cat if I don't have to. Come on, let's give Mamie the good news. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Alright, level ups. So, what do you got? Increase max, yeah, that looks good. And you got, increase your attack power. Ooh, but wait, I didn't see, okay, yours actually starts off in multiple different directions. I mean, I'm totally fine with seeing, with, with more damage. Being able to see enemy HP and status effects would have been nice. Uh, but yeah, I was, I'm so used to Verm being very linear here at the start that I immediately just jumped to the first thing I saw a path was going to, but... Strength is fine. Strength is fine. We want, we want higher strength, so... That is good to me. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. 
And I think I'm going to go ahead and save here at Core Mac. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for some more.